Living paycheck to paycheck is a trap. It feels like you're stuck on a treadmill, constantly running but getting nowhere. You're chained to your debt, with little control over your future. Imagine a life where you're not burdened by debt, where you have options and choices. That's the power of living below your means. It's about taking control of your finances and designing a life you love. You work hard for your money. Don't you deserve to keep more of it? Imagine the possibilities if you weren't constantly stressed about bills. You could save for a down payment on a house, invest in your future, or simply enjoy life's simple pleasures without guilt. Living below your means isn't about deprivation. It's about empowerment. It's about making conscious choices that align with your values and goals. This isn't about becoming a penny-pinching Scrooge. It's about being intentional with your money and making it work for you, not against you. When you live below your means, you break free from the cycle of debt and create a solid foundation for financial security. You gain peace of mind knowing that you're prepared for unexpected expenses and that you're building a brighter future for yourself and your loved ones. Are you tired of feeling trapped by your finances? Are you ready to experience the freedom and security that comes with living below your means? Let's explore how you can start your journey towards financial peace. Do you dream of a life where money is no longer a constant source of worry? A life where you can pursue your passions and spend quality time with loved ones? This is the promise of financial freedom. It's about having control over your finances, living comfortably and pursuing your dreams, achieving peace of mind knowing you're financially secure. Living below your means is key. Make conscious spending choices, break free from the consumerist mindset. True happiness comes from experiences and relationships. Imagine the possibilities if you weren't living paycheck to paycheck, save for your children's education or retire comfortably. Pursue your passions without financial worries. Take control of your finances and design your ideal life. A budget is not about restriction, it's about empowerment. It's a roadmap to your financial goals, a tool that allows you to track your income and expenses, identify areas where you can save, and allocate your money towards what truly matters. Think of it as a financial GPS guiding you towards your desired destination, financial freedom. Start by tracking your spending for a month. Write down every dollar that comes in and goes out. You might be surprised to see where your money is actually going. Once you have a clear picture of your spending habits, you can start creating a budget that works for you. There are many budgeting methods available, but the key is to find one that you can stick to. The envelope system, zero-based budgeting, and the 50-30-20 rule are all popular options. Experiment and find what works best for your lifestyle. Remember, budgeting is not about perfection, it's about progress. Creating a budget might seem daunting at first, but it's a crucial step towards financial freedom. It empowers you to take control of your money and make conscious choices that align with your goals. Remember, a budget is not about deprivation, it's about freedom. We live in a society that constantly bombards us with messages to buy, buy, buy. It's easy to get caught up in the cycle of consumerism and lose sight of what truly matters. But achieving financial freedom requires us to differentiate between our needs and our wants. Needs are essential for our survival and well-being. They include things like food, shelter, clothing, health care, and transportation. Wants, on the other hand, are things that we desire but can live without. They include things like designer clothes, expensive gadgets, and luxurious vacations. Learning to say no to unnecessary wants is crucial for living below your means. It's about making conscious choices that align with your values and goals. Ask yourself, do I really need this or am I just trying to keep up with the Joneses? Saying no to impulse purchases can be challenging at first, but it gets easier with practice. Delay gratification. Give yourself a cooling off period before making a purchase. You might find that you didn't really want it after all. Remember, every dollar you save by saying no to a want is a dollar you can put towards your financial goals. Section 5. The Frugal Mindset. Finding Joy in Simplicity. Frugality is not about deprivation. It's about being resourceful and finding joy in simplicity. It's about appreciating what you have and making conscious choices that align with your values. It's about living a fulfilling life without breaking the bank. Embrace a mindset of abundance, not scarcity. Focus on what you have, not on what you lack. Appreciate the simple things in life like spending time with loved ones, enjoying nature, and pursuing your passions. You don't need a lot of money to be happy. Look for ways to save money on everyday expenses. Cook at home instead of eating out. Shop at discount stores and take advantage of sales and coupons. Explore free or low-cost entertainment options like visiting parks, attending community events, or borrowing books from the library. 
Adopting a frugal mindset is a journey, not a destination. It's about making small, sustainable changes over time. Celebrate your successes and don't be afraid to ask for help when you need it. Remember, frugality is not about deprivation, it's about freedom. Section 6. Small Changes, Big Impact, Everyday Saving Strategies Living below your means doesn't require drastic lifestyle changes. It's often the small, everyday choices that add up to significant savings over time. By implementing simple strategies, you can free up more money to put towards your financial goals. Consider downsizing your living space. Moving to a smaller home or renting out a room can significantly reduce your housing expenses, which are often the largest portion of our budgets. Explore alternative transportation options, such as carpooling, biking, or using public transportation. Negotiate lower rates for your bills. Contact your service providers, such as your internet, cable, and phone companies, and inquire about discounts or lower-priced plans. You might be surprised at how much you can save by simply asking. Cut back on unnecessary subscriptions and memberships. Do you really need all those streaming services, gym memberships, and magazine subscriptions? Evaluate your usage and cancel the ones you don't use regularly. Remember, every dollar saved is a dollar earned. Section 7. The Snowball Effect. Watching Your Savings Grow. As you implement these tips and start living below your means, you'll begin to see your savings grow. This is where the magic of compound interest comes in. Compound interest is the principle of earning interest on your initial savings, as well as on the accumulated interest. Think of it like a snowball rolling downhill. As it rolls, it picks up more snow, becoming larger and larger. The same principle applies to your savings. The more you save, the more interest you earn, and the faster your savings grow. Start by building an emergency fund. Aim to save three to six months worth of living expenses. This will provide a financial cushion in case of unexpected events, such as job loss or medical emergencies. Once your emergency fund is established, you can focus on other financial goals, such as saving for retirement, a down payment on a house, or your children's education. The key to maximizing the snowball effect is consistency. Make saving a habit, even if it's just a small amount each month. Automate your savings by setting up automatic transfers from your checking account to your savings account. Remember, slow and steady wins the race. Section 8. From Surviving to Thriving – The Real Impact of Financial Health Living below your means is not just about saving money, it's about improving your overall well-being. When you're financially secure, you experience less stress, anxiety, and conflict in your relationships. You have more freedom, choices, and opportunities. Financial stress can take a toll on our physical and mental health. It can lead to sleep problems, headaches, digestive issues, and even weaken our immune system. By taking control of your finances, you're also taking control of your health and well-being. Financial freedom empowers you to pursue your passions, spend quality time with loved ones, and make choices based on what truly matters to you. It allows you to live a more fulfilling and meaningful life. When you're not constantly worried about money, you're free to focus on what truly matters. You can invest in your relationships, pursue your hobbies, and give back to your community. Financial freedom is not just about money, it's about living a life of purpose and intention. Real people, real results. Countless individuals have transformed their lives by living below their means. Their stories prove that financial freedom is achievable for anyone willing to put in the effort. Sarah, a single mother, created a budget, cut expenses, and increased her income. She paid off debt, built an emergency fund, and saved for her daughter's education. Now, Sarah is financially secure. John and Mary downsized, sold their car, and adopted a frugal mindset. They paid off their debt and now enjoy simple pleasures. These stories show that financial freedom is a tangible goal. Section 10. Your Journey to Financial Peace Taking the First Step Embarking on the journey to financial freedom might seem daunting, but remember that every journey starts with a single step. The key is to start small, be consistent, and celebrate your progress along the way. Begin by identifying your why. Why is financial freedom important to you? What are your goals and aspirations? Having a clear vision of what you're working towards will keep you motivated and focused on your journey. Next, take a close look at your finances. Track your income and expenses, create a budget, and identify areas where you can cut back. Remember, even small changes can make a big difference over time don't be afraid to ask for help. There are many resources available to help you on your journey to financial freedom, including financial advisors, books, podcasts, and online communities. Surround yourself with supportive people who will encourage and motivate you along the way. Section 11. 
Are you ready to take control? Living below your means is not about deprivation. It's about empowerment. It's about taking control of your finances, designing a life you love, and achieving financial peace of mind. It's about breaking free from the chains of debt and creating a brighter future for yourself and your loved ones. The journey to financial freedom starts with a single step. Are you ready to take control of your finances and start living a life of abundance? The choice is yours.